Sharp and Arrow. And with my two partners, Tassilo Ippenberger, and, and the third partner is in Beirut right now, Jade Suet. We're running this complex here. And this area is the area where you find all the clubs, you name it like by walking distance, the Berghain, the Watergate, the Club de Visionaire, the Tresor, uh, Carter, it's all here around the area, same as for a lot of other studios. And uh, it's also located next to the river, maybe we should also mention this and that's the reason why we call it Riverside. <laughs> Coincidence, a friend called us from uh, Get Physical. They're also in the same building. There is rooms in the basement. And uh, I said, no, it's a basement we really don't want to be at. But he said, just come by and check out. So we came here, walked in, and saw the river view. Like, okay, well, this is it. <laughs> Finally, we made it. You know, we sold our life insurances, everything, like, really put everything literally in. And uh, yeah, we have one, uh, 25 studios here. 25 rooms. We found ourselves in a position to be able to choose who we want to have here. So the next step was for us to think about a concept. What can we do more instead of just renting rooms? So we, our concept was let's let's create a network of musicians of different genres, different qualities, whatever. So that's one of our main rules. If we get, give someone a room, I mean, there's no rooms anymore right now, but that, but that was how we created these networks. Okay, what do we need? We just don't want to be 25 electronic artists, so we have jazz people, we have film people, we have people that do classic music, rock producers, and uh, we started to, to build these networks and also create more out of that. We promote seminars, master classes for instance, we have a publishing company running down here. We completely went from being DJs, producers, into also running a business networks of musicians people are like willing and they are into working together it's not just like the big networking thought but also like this internal th thinking like okay there's a band project or there's in general like a musical project so who could we combine like you know so bring people together and do something together do music together and this works out really well right now there was the band yeah, Tesla just mentioned was kind of also an, an interesting trial we recorded mastered mix produced the whole album with them in four weeks which you usually take two to three months and we did that with a bigger team of people there was like one producer one mixing engineer a lot of side people um, they used Toby Neumann, for instance, for with his modular system to throw synth lines in. We had Craig Walker for top lining. So the whole thing was kind of an experiment also. Does it work? Everybody who was part of the project was up before, okay, we don't know yet if this <coughs> could work. And it was amazing to see how the end result was and how the work with the band was and what the real strength of our project is when you have a creative process where a lot of people just jump in and even people who were not in this team later we found them sitting a day hey riding together with yeah. them and it was really cool to see and it even gave us encouraged us more to drive this project more and more into a networks platform it's like a big family here it's like a like a lot of flatmates together and they need to fit together it was like a very personal thing also and mm -hmm. from the from the business side um, i think the, the personal aspect is like 50%, you know, so like, it's really important. Everybody needs to get along with each other. We also have a cooperation with Pioneer going on. They bring in our, we have a DJ room where you could do mixes and stuff. So not everybody needs to have his turntables or CD players. So we have one room, people internally can book for free. So Pioneer comes with a lot of artists and shows the new tricks and tips about their software. So we're doing a lot of stuff to keep this place yeah, busy and vivid and, and, and networking. Usually when you do sessions, you need to book artists or musicians yeah. and they would come for a session, but you never know what's the mood of the day. Yeah. Here you just do music and then you feel like, wow, I could need a vocal or just a guy steps in and he's inspired. Hey, you want to sing a line on it? And that's more like creative mood that is transported into music. That's what I said before with the band we had here. It's what they experienced. This is really interesting to work like that. And they spend a full month here without big going out and they said there's so much input here, yeah. you even don't need to go out. For us, really exciting to see after all we went through and built it, to see a vision ca came like really true. We have door signages with uh, Riverside logo, they look really nice actually. And everybody really respects when they hang out, there's a recording session or you don't want to be disturbed. I bought this desk without knowing what, like really the history of it. 
It's an AMAC desk, M3000. They built six of them and all the six are working. There's one in LA, one in Paris, one in Berlin now. Uh, the guy from Tangerine Dream has one. And this desk has some nice history. It came originally from London, from the Mayfair Studios, where it was four years in Control Room A and there was big hits recorded, like from Tina Turner, What's Love Got To Do With It, or some Pink Floyd songs and whatever. And I have a friend, he's an audio engineer, and he, actually he's an automotive engineer and his passion is audio engineering. And when I, I got him, I said, look what I bought, he was like, oh my God, what did you do? <laughs> so he worked, I couldn't say we, because I just paid some money on it. He worked five years to bring it back. He placed 3,000 parts on this beast. And now it's in mint condition, even the leather is shiny new. And actually now, yeah, we really do mixings on it and it has an amazing sound. The whole room is constructed because what I said before, this whole space had no walls. We constructed even this room and we construct, we measured the door. It will be wide enough to carry the whole mixer through in, in. First we thought we have to bring it on the river with a boat to the window and it was really, it wasn't yeah, an we issue about that. And the whole room was constructed for this baby to be here will never go out again. <laughs> Check our new channel, of course, RSTV. Soon will be the yes, launching. Soon, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, all our artists are worth to follow, even if you're maybe not in this musical direction. There's a reason why they're with us, so there's a lot of stuff to see.